So, what's for breakfast? Melon. A little bit of a life update. Yeah, what um, happened this week? Yesterday we celebrated 10 years together. <laughs> That's almost hard to believe. And looking forward to another 70. We can do the freezing thing and wake up 3000 years later and see what happened to the world. So we just went down to Kreuzberg and we walked there and just checked out some places around there that we haven't seen before. It was just like a beautiful sunny day and everyone was in a good mood. And then we, and we nice. had a lot of champagne. We took a nap, we went out to a Japanese restaurant. So question of the week. First we have a question by I don't know who, but just saying, do you have eyebrows? I mean, this is not by one person. This is like a really common question. You know, you guys ask me sometimes why I don't like fill in my eyebrows. Is I don't have any, like they're not like naturally invisible. I just shave them off. I use David's razor every morning in the shower and and I realize a lot of you don't think that that looks good. I'm not doing it for your benefit. I'm just doing it for my own because I feel like it looks kind of minimalistic and clean to have like few lines in my face. With or without eyebrows? Without eyebrows. Yeah? Yeah, especially because your eyebrows are so bushy. So they're like, just looks like- <laughs> They're not. It just looks like they're covering <laughs> your forehead. Yeah. Actually, my like natural eyebrows are really small. That's I have decluttered you. my face. Yeah. I'm such a minimalist. <laughs> Minimalist score of what? <laughs> mm. Next question from Claire Amiro. How long have you both been vegan? Were you both vegan when you met each other? Or did one of you two turn the other vegan? Neither of us were vegans when we met. No. I was vegetarian. I've been vegetarian since I was like 30, 12, 13. Yeah, and I was a meat eater. Mm. And I became a vegetarian pretty quickly. And we've been vegan for nine years now. Yeah, I became vegan at uni because I saw so many horrible things, I studied animal welfare and then a few months later of me like telling you everything I saw at school, you became vegan too. Yeah. Would you say that I first turned you vegetarian and then I turned you vegan? Yeah, and I turned you into a nice person who don't gloat. Mm. Very humble. So, what's your favorite this week? I know you have two favorites, but you can only pick one. Save the next David, one next week. David is so mean. I was like, I have two favorites this week, really happy and proud. And he was like, nah, you can only have one. So I need to choose. So I've chosen, is it a web series? A TV show? It's called Fashion Bloggers, right? Straight up, just fashion bloggers. Yeah. Australian show. L about like really well-known fashion bloggers. Five of them, right? Yeah. I didn't expect to like this at all, but it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah, it's a really well-made series, like 20 minute episodes. Yeah, it's also like something in between a reality show and a vlog, because you, yeah. you just follow them around. Yeah. And it's not about all the drama. They don't do any mean stuff. They're not like trying to it's create- It's not Real Housewives. No, no, no. It's just about like professional people doing professional stuff. You get really inspired and yay. Yay, fashion bloggers. Do you know of any other like, TV shows or documentaries about bloggers or vloggers or YouTubers, anything like that. Please tell us in the comments, we would love to watch yeah, more. Yeah, it's been hard to find stuff like yeah, that. Been... My favorite this week is our favorite restaurant here in Berlin. Well, we've been to Soy three times in three months, basically. Mm. Uh, it's a vegan restaurant, Vietnamese restaurant, and I just love the food there. I love all Vietnamese food, basically, but... That Vietnamese is our favorite. Yeah, and there's like a Vietnamese restaurant on every street here in the city. Mm. They're, they're everywhere and most of them are vegetarian it seems like as well. So, mm. But soy is the best one. So. And it's totally vegan. So in the news this week, you probably heard about it, the Panama Papers. Basically, the rich people of the world are hiding their money in tax havens. Big surprise. We, we already know Whoop this, -doo -doo. but it's beautiful when they actually get like, caught. <laughs> like, yeah, like get caught when someone leaks the information and people get to pay for it. No one is surprised. No one is surprised that the banks are helping them. No one is surprised that the rich people are doing this. Fine. The surprising bit for me, the really, the most upsetting part about this for me is the Prime Minister of Iceland. Because the Prime Minister of Iceland got caught with doing this, hiding his money. He is of course paid by the taxpayers and he is living basically in paradise. Iceland has like a population of like 300,000 people they have like a good economy, they have like 
high, really high social security for everyone. They have like really good standards. And for us, we come from Sweden, which is also a Scandinavian country. It's very similar to Iceland. It's a small country. We pay high taxes. We have like great social security and free education and everything like that. So for us, we can really relate. And I feel like if you're the prime minister of Iceland, you sort of made it. And still you feel like you don't have enough. And your whole job as a prime minister is to make sure that people take pay their taxes. Mm. And the only reason you have money is because of the taxpayer. Yeah, the taxpayers pay you so that you can hide your money from paying taxes. Mm. Icelandic prime minister really just messes with my mind. Like, how can someone do this? I understand in another shitty country with like shitty politics that people did it, but in Iceland, I'm not like having it. Yeah, I think there are like 12 national leaders that have been caught in this these uh, scandals basically, mm. and like I hit 150 politicians. Yeah, luckily this story has a happy ending. The Icelandic people took to the streets. I think you know they are only 300,000 people, no. and like 10 percent, 10 percent of them went out onto the streets and started protesting. And the Prime Minister resigned. Anyway, the Icelandic people just took matters into their own hands and said like, this is not okay in our country. Yeah. Good for them. Here's our message. Britain, you're next. Shame on you, David Cameron. Okay, are you ready for Creative Corner? No, it's already Creative Corner. No. Whoa. Creative Corner. corner. So this week, we have Claire Din. She's on YouTube. She's a body paint artist, or whatever it's called. Body face paint, paint makeup artist, yeah. I don't know. She just won the internet, basically. Yeah, Her like stuff when she is when amazing. Internet over, everyone go home. We have a clear winner. This is. There are no winners and losers. There are a lot of winners, there are no losers. Yeah. All of our creative corner submitters are, of course, winners, and Claire Din is definitely big time winner yeah. since she's a youtuber subscribe show her some love yeah. uh, make her like dream come true she wants to be a full-time youtuber so help her out with that one she deserves it so creative so talented yeah i can't even draw that on a paper she she draws it on her own face mm -hmm. okay are we ready for thai show i'm not ready for thai show i haven't even so korean thai show this week again yeah i mean last week's <laughs> korean thai show was so much fun man that's aggressive right we feel like we haven't mastered it yet. I like this one. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> Hope you like this episode. Please subscribe and tell us if you have a question of the week. Tell us if you have a fun news story if that you, you want to share. And if you know a TV series or a documentary about bloggers or vloggers or something like that that you want, that you think we should check out. Please, 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 please,